Hey doll people, I'm here with Sunny and we're doing a farewell video. I know she was hardly here and already we're saying goodbye, but I wasn't connecting with Sunny. She wasn't connecting with me. Um, so it is what it is. Um, I think that she'll connect really well with her new owner. Um, and I just gotten her these hot duds from TTYA. Oh my God, and they're perfect for her. They do not fit Kala at all. The shirt she can get away with, but the, the pants, they are not getting over those hips. Um, but having Kala has really made me appreciate Sunny because she's so compact. She's so little. She's a good, what, like three, three to five centimeters shorter than Kala. It's got to be like three at least, maybe five. Anyway, so, um, but she's so easy to handle and, and to deal with, and, um, we're gonna miss her, but she doesn't have anything to do here, so let her go enjoy life somewhere else, and I love this wig so much, Ugh, and I just gotten all this stuff for her, and I'm kind of torn about whether I should sell it or not, but I guess I'll just hold on to it, you never know who's, who's coming in the future, sometimes they just come into your life. And I think Sunny came into my life and she made me appreciate the hobby. So thank you, Sunny. I'm sorry that I didn't give you the life that you deserve. Um, so goodbye, Sunny, and we will miss you. Hang out with your sisters. There you go. So some updates. Have you been following the progress of the hut on Instagram? I'm so excited about it. It's looking really good. So right like the last picture you saw probably it's all brown now and I just actually just threw handfuls of straw because it was a strange angle I was working with so I had to just throw the straw I eventually just took the whole thing out to the sunroom and did the messy straw work there which I'm about to go clean up um so um what's next I'm gonna do a kind of a wash of brown over the straw um so it doesn't totally cover it up so you can see some of that um, and then we're working on the roof. So I made a tripod. I've got to loosen it up. I bound it a little too much. So I'm making, making this tripod. And then I have other sticks that I was going to use as spears. And they're just going to be the supports in there, right? And then I was like, well, what am I going to make this roof out of? Uh, my dad gave me some weird stuff. This weird, the, the seed cover. I think I might have shown that to you. Anyway, it's a weird green woven mat, but it's gross. It's messy, and I don't want to use it. So I was thinking of that um, cocoa, cocoa fiber or whatever that you put inside the potted plants. No, no, potted hanging plants. So it doesn't get rot, I guess, rotten. Um, it has this film on it, so I can't, I can't really, can't really use it because it's, it just feels gross and artificial. So, we were out shopping, um, and I found these placemats, and I was like, oh, maybe I can take these and just weave them together or something. I mean, uh, sew them together to be the roof. But that was not going to work. So, as soon as I got home, I thought, grass skirt, hello. So, I got a table skirt, because the other grass skirts, it's going to cost you so much money, just... I, for no good reason. When a table skirt is actually cheaper and a lot bigger. There's like nine feet of table skirt. Anyway, so we're going to glue those to the little supports and cut that down. I say we, like like you're over here helping me, which would be great. I'd appreciate that. And then I've got to work on the river. i got a lot of work to do because I have to do the whole landscape thing and I don't have any glue left. Um, so that, that's what's up here. Oh, wait. So today my mom's a seamstress. And today I went to her shop. She's got like a little boutique and like you can go there and get fitted and stuff and she'll make stuff for you. She's retired. She just can't keep still. And she loves sewing. Um, yeah, so my mother sews. My grandmother was a seamstress. And me and my sister are completely like clueless. Uh, I have made a couple of things. I did go to home ec class and I've made curtains and pillows and stuff. But... Um, She's giving me a sewing machine, and I think part of the deal is like, oh, you need to learn how to use this lady. So I went there today, and I made these pants. I only made them like a half an hour. 
is she had some American Girl doll pants. But she took Kala's measurements, and she is um, going to make a pattern for her. And she might actually end up making the outfit I want, which is just a super simple tunic and pants. I mean, I'll, like, do some beading and stuff on it, I guess. I've never done beading. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'll at least, you know, sew some teeth to it or something. Um, but, yeah, that would be great if she wants to do that. I still haven't talked about Kala, and, and I will, but I want to... I want to sit down and really think about some of the holes in the story, and I haven't because I, I got so interested in in Gemma's new story that I've been kind of just thinking about that. I'm just going to finish the hut, and then I'll put her in the hut, and then we'll tell her story, okay? So anyway, um, I made the little pants, and um, I got this outfit in from Saris or Saris BJD Clothes on Etsy. And corset and some bloomers because Gemma, at least for the time being, is going to play. She's going to play all the parts in this story because I really want to buy the clothes for it. Isn't that horrible? I'd just be saving for a doll, but I haven't decided. I'm looking at Soul Doll Jung A, maybe? Something like that. Sung? I can't remember. Anyway, because um, uh, I need a mature face in a body that will, you know, look right next to a mini fee. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I've ordered a new wig for her. It's going to be like really mousy, uh, light brown. I want to give her like a, a Gibson girl thing, you know what I mean? Like a Gibson, Gibson girl bun that's all like poofy here and then a bun. Love that. Anyway, so um, I'll link you to Sarah's. Sarah's BJD clothes uh, below. Do I have any more updates? I think that's it for now. I'm just going to get back to work um, and clean up all that straw that I made a big mess with. Um, so I'll talk to you soon. Bye.